Dearest human user, that is you. You're a, you're using a physical body at this very <coughs> moment. Do you know why relationships don't work? <laughs> well, who am I? I don't know. But there's a couple things I've come up with, and maybe they uh, help. So, if I can read my notes from across the room. Uh, first one is... <clears throat> The relationship does not cost you anything. Now this one can be tough because some relationships are not worth the cost and well then you shouldn't be participating anyway. But if the relationship doesn't at least give you, doesn't challenge you in some way where, where you, you're needing to um, exercise certain elements of yourself for the benefit of the person that you are in a relationship with, and this is friendship or romantic, it can be either way either or um if there's not something that's calling you out to ch be challenged in the relationship then that relationship kind of falls flat and you end up having kind of a you're not as impactful as it could be now this is not like the, there's several points and this is just one of them so it's good to have relationships that challenge you you don't want it to be so simple but that doesn't mean you don't because there's certain people out there they seem well, even though you might be might click really well, it's it's still only um, um, a surface level thing. You may be able to get a little deeper naturally than other people, but there's a point when if you're really wanting to have um, a really deep relationship, friendship or or not or or relation or whatever romantic with this person, um, you still have to recognize what that person needs in in a more intimate way. Um, and it should challenge you. And, but if it's not challenging you, then, then you're not really in a deeper relationship. You should have some things that you know, challenge you. So, I'm um, sorry, I'm look under you, dear. Um, <clears throat> you got to make sure, it's so funny, it says no active communication. I have no idea what that means. Maybe that means something to someone out there. <laughs> but I wrote it down and it felt right at the time. Oh no, I was using my feelings. Maybe that's why it makes no sense. But I guess kind of making something up, like, um, oh yeah, there we go. How about this? So, if 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 you're always in a mode that you're not talking about, or I guess it's kind of bringing up certain issues, um, and oh no, there we go. You're not actively communicating in a way to discover about the person. Um, if you're just kind of taking things at face value. Um, which then will actually go to one of my my second point. Um, then there's a lot of room for things to happen under the radar that you're not going to catch because you're not actively communicating, but then you can be actively pursuing um, the person that you are in re in relationship or friendship with. But then that's to my second point. Look under you, dear. My bad. Too many assumptions of mutual understandings. You just assume that everything's great about something, or you assume that they actually really do love, you know, some similar action or uh, similar like um, activity or or whatnot. And but then what you might find out is that the other person is sacrificing for you so much, or vice versa. You're sacrificing yourself so much for the this other person and for the relationship because um, you see how much it benefits them. And if you're not getting something that benefits you, then you end up just draining yourself. And either way, one of so if if you're giving yourself up so much, you're gonna shut down or blow up, or, and or vice versa. If they shut down or blow up, it's because they haven't been receiving what they're needing. And so you want to have active communication to try to find out what those things are, and um, and truly pursue those things. Because then that's also gonna kind of go back to my first point. If it doesn't cost you anything, because it's what they need may be something that you don't know how to necessarily provide, and you have to allow them to be the teacher, or hopefully they give you the opportunity also to be the teacher and be like, hey, this I really like it when you do this or or whatnot. So, um, yes, my next point is you are only communicating, or you are communicating only in what you know or understand. Are, or are comfortable with and so it kind of goes back to the first point a little bit um, but when we only commu communicate in certain modes 
that yes, we only understand or are comfortable with, then there's a good chance that the person is not going to benefit uh, <clears throat> from from what we're saying um, or or doing. So, for instance, like love languages are a great one. So I'm a, I'm a very much a quality quality time person, but not everyone else is. And so if someone's, for instance, an acts of service person, and but I'm trying to display my affection with hanging around them all the time, all they see is you're an, like you're a nuisance and why are you always around me? Um, be practical, do something useful, <laughs> um, which is like a big um, into my spirit. Um, but uh, only communicating in that form is going to limit um, the, that relationship and you have to you know, learn how to, okay, so what does acts of service or what does you know, more flowery language look like, especially like with INTPs, like all the, um, and, and other types as well, you know, just because if, if you don't know how to communicate in, in gentle ways and other people do, and, and so if you could be easily crushing the other person, the other person, but then the other, sorry, but then the other person that isn't so direct or whatever and more flowery, um, they, they, sometimes they may need to be a lot more direct and, and, but both sides need to kind of bring honor to the other. Um, so yes, yes, good old relationships and friendships and all that good 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 stuff you know good stuff so what do you guys think what do you what do you think is um are, are key elements for um, relationships for them to be successful and how do they fail um let me know in the comment section below see another video another life you never know and i haven't been wearing the same shirt all this time it's just i did all these videos in like one sitting so uh, <laughs> felt necessary to say I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? I smell bad and you can't tell. That was really weird. And I did it on the internet. Doesn't matter, I guess. I'm tired. I'm tired. You know what? See ya.